My name is Jose Alfaro. I do a lot of work in the anti-trafficking movement. It was probably the most horrible times in my life. I just felt so down and so helpless. I was speaking with a woman named Laura Powers at Polaris, and I'm sharing my story, and I get to the legal process. And she says, Jose, I think you should get some advice from someone that I know. And so she gives me a number of a woman named Martina Vandenberg. And I remember I sent an email. She calls me and she's like, hi, Jose. I've been waiting a really long time to talk to you. I've been following your case from the very beginning. And she said, I'm so proud of you. She said, I'm a bridge that connected you to your civil attorneys. I felt so alone for so long. And to hear that there were people looking out for me in moments that I didn't know, it meant everything to me. What she has done for me and what the Human Trafficking Legal Center has done for me, I can never thank them enough. I grew up in a very religious town, conservative town. There comes the time where my father gave me an ultimatum and he says, either you are going to conversion therapy camp or you're getting out of my house. Then the first massage happened and I walked in the door is shut and locked behind me. There's a naked man on the massage table. And Jason just nods his head yes, and I knew what that meant. It meant take your clothes off. As time went on, the massages became more and more intense, and there was no way out. Like I said, where was I gonna go? In that moment, the very first massage, when that door shut and it's locked, I'm captive. There's no way out, but I was smarter than that. And I was worth so much more. In 2014, I was ready, or I thought I was ready to move on with my life. And a friend came to visit me and he says, there's an article that came out and the guy who did what he did to you is in prison. And my friend says, you should probably call this hotline. And then they reassured me that I was not gonna get in trouble, that what happened to me was not my fault. That was the first time I put a title to what happened to me. And that was human trafficking. Then that led me to The trial. Little did I know that this was going to take six, six years. There were many moments where I felt lost, but then there were many moments where I felt so empowered. And I wouldn't have felt empowered without the help of these attorneys. There are many reasons why I share and advocate. And it's not just to end human trafficking, but it's also to help others identify through my story and say, what is it that he did to become the person that he is today? And there's so much more to my story than me being a victim and all the horrible things that happened to me. What about the amazing things that I came out of? What about my accomplishments? And that's something that the Human Trafficking Legal Center saw in me. And they said, Jose, when you speak, you speak with passion. And the Human Trafficking Legal Center has really helped me feel seen, feel heard. And the only way we're gonna fight and end this is when we can hear all survivor stories. I need a voice that's louder than mine. I need hope, yeah, I need you. Cause I can't do this alone